Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and today we're back with episode 33 of the Detroit Pistons Association. And today, this is the first game with the new look Pistons. We're going up against the Boston Celtics. And uh, like I said, the new look Pistons with Carmelo Anthony, Thomas Robinson, uh, new features in the starting lineup, as well as a couple of new bench players like Jared Sellinger and Aaron Kraft. So, um, you know, I'm going to take part of this commentary to kind of explain some of the moves I made. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to get right to it. Obviously, you know, the Carmelo Anthony signing was uh, a really good one, in my opinion. He's very highly rated in this game. He, I finally have that go-to scorer that I, even when I had Rodney Stuckey, um, you know, he wasn't that big of a shot creator. You know, Carmelo Anthony's a shot creator. He's, he has the fourth quarter closer signature skill. He's a guy that I can go to in the clutch. And um, I think overall, he was just such a great signing. People can call me out for being unrealistic. I actually don't think it was unrealistic. Uh, I justified it in my own head. That's why I went through with it. And I think it makes the series more fun as a whole for me and for you. So that's really all that matters in the end. And um, yeah, so anyway, uh, the Thomas Robinson move I really liked because... Really, what Greg Monroe was doing for me at that point, especially if we, if we had ended up getting Melo, let's let's say in a perfect world we get Melo without, you know, like, uh, keeping Greg Monroe, or let's say we don't even get Melo, even still, the trade, Greg Monroe was not a key scorer for us at, at the point where, you know, towards the end of last season, he, we would go to him, he would probably score 10 points a game, and, you know, we, did, we didn't go to him in the post too much, we went to Dwight Howard in the post way more often, and even Nicholas Patum sometimes. We really didn't go to Monroe in the post. His offensive skills weren't being utilized. And really what he was doing for us was getting rebounds, especially offensive rebounds. And that's something that Thomas Robinson knew on a much cheaper contract. We gave Craig Monroe a huge five-year, $58 million extension, I believe it was. And um, the fact that we got Th Thomas Robinson to do exactly what Greg Monroe was doing for us, but he's going to be on a rookie contract for the next two years, that's a steal. That's not unrealistic at all. That's saving cap space and getting a more effective player. You know, in terms of, I mean, and I know we didn't trade Greg Monroe for Thomas Robinson straight up, but that's essentially, you know, he's he's Greg Monroe's replacement. You can see right there, he's just grabbing rebounds. He has the hustle point signature skill. I think he has scrapper or scraper, whatever it is. You know, he's the type of guy that does exactly what Greg Monroe did for us, just much cheaper. So I don't find that move to be unrealistic at all. Uh, we dumped Cody Zeller for Doug McDermott. That was just because Zeller didn't fit in the system. The reason I went with Robinson over Zeller is because Zeller's not as good of a rebounder. Zeller's more of an offensive player, whereas Robinson has a decent post game. But really, like I said, all I want him to do is get me rebounds. Um, and Aaron Kraft is a good backup point guard. He's not the passer that I love. I, I'd love him to be, but um, you know he he gets the job done. And I, I think he's he's fine as it is, quite frankly. But um, if we if we need to make a move and try to get another veteran presence, um, then you know maybe we'll do that in the near future. But I, I think it's fine right now with um, you know Aaron Kraft as our backup point guard. He's also a very good defender, and we can put him on pretty much anybody right now. So that's good to have. Um, and then I drafted was it Victor Oladipo, Michael, and Michael Carter Williams in the late first round, early second round. Oh, look at Brandon and I breaking Leandro Barbosa's ankles. How's that ACL, Barbosa? That was, that was mean. Barbosa did Terry's ACL the other day, and uh, that stinks because he's one of the more fun players to watch in the NBA, in my opinion. But anyway, look at that ankle breaker right there. That's pretty sweet. But anyway, so, yeah, like I said, um, I drafted Oladipo and Michael Carter-Williams. Those are just two young backup shooting guards that I can use if I ever need to uh, make a deal or something like that. Maybe just have, you know, a guy fill in for another guy or something. You know, they're, just, they're two guys that I like watching in college, and I had two second-round picks, and I decided to draft them. So, anyway, um... Then, uh, as for other, so I mentioned aircraft, I mentioned Thomas Robinson, um, I basically salary dumped Nicholas Batum, and uh, the, the the biggest salary dump trade was the Greg Monroe one, the Batum for Thomas Robinson one was uh, pretty fair, quite frankly, um, you know, Robinson's a young budding star, at least in this association, and uh, Batum's kind of on a big contract, I think I gave up Harrison Barnes, it was a disgruntled Harrison Barnes at that point, and then I traded down or whatever, and I think I got someone else, but look, look at Victor Claver, 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 I don't know if that V is silent. I feel like it is. But he hit the end 1-3 right there. That was ridiculous. But, um, yeah, so look at Melo. Doing what Melo does best. Jab stepping and then hitting that 3. That was just, man, I love playing with Melo. He's so much fun. But, um, anyway, so I'm saying um, way too much in these commentaries today. I apologize. So, anyway, the rest of the moves I made, aside from the Greg Monroe salary dump, were through free agency. Um, I acquired mainly veterans. Uh, look at look at Brandon Knight hitting the D-plus shot quality 3. 
but I acquired Sean Marion, Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom was through trade, actually. I believe I traded, uh, what was it? I can't quite remember what the deal was, but it was someone for Lamar Odom. I can't even remember. I, I feel stupid, but yeah, we acquired, we basically acquired Lamar Odom and then Sean Marion and Corey Megetti through free agency. Uh, those are three guys that they all do different things. Lamar Odom's very versatile. He's one of the more versatile players in the NBA. He's 6'10", he can dribble the ball, he can pass, he can rebound, he can shoot. And, um, you know, he's definitely at the tail end of his career, as are, you know, Maggetti and Marion. But at the same time, I think he's just a good player to have on the bench. You know, he can really create and run the second unit, quite frankly. So I really like having him on our team. Sean Marion had the lockdown defender signature skill. He's a very good perimeter defender. He's also very versatile, so he can do a lot for the team off the bench. And the core Maggetti is a very good scorer. He's a great shooter. Uh, if you guys remember, he was on the team in year one of the association, and he really did well for us. He averaged double-digit points, and we got all three of those guys on cheap deals just because they're old veterans who are just trying to get rings. I don't think I've, any of them, or Odom has a few rings with those uh, two Lakers. He has two with the Lakers, I believe. But um, the rest of those guys don't have rings, I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, Marion probably has one from the 2011 uh, uh, Mavericks. But still, <laughs> besides the point, they want another one, you know. So, uh, just veterans on, you know, low-level contracts, and, uh, yeah, I think that that's a good presence to have in the locker room, uh, definitely help out some of the young guys, and they just really help us with the second units, you can see we do have a lot of our second unit in right now, but Jared Sullinger is another guy that we got, I can't remember exactly what the deal for him was, uh, I, I don't remember exactly who we traded, I think he was, I can't even remember, but he's another guy that basically is like a mini Tom Thomas Robinson, he's just a very good rebounder, I'm, I'm developing his rebounding even more though, because it's not rated as high as it should be, quite frankly, in real life he's an incredible rebounder, he has great footwork, he reminds me so much of Zach Randolph, like minus the offensive game, even though he still has a good, I mean he's a good face up jump shot, but anyway, um, so I'm looking for Jared Sullinger to be a mini Thomas Robinson, they're both on rookie deals for the next two years, so uh, if we can keep them both happy, you know, sharing the minutes or whatever, then I think we really, really, really have a good combo, at least for the next few years, until we probably have to let them go just due to their, the fact that they're going to want big contracts. But yeah, the Sullinger deal was I gave up Jonas Yurevko for him, who, as you can see, hit the bucket right there. But Melo running the break right here is going to get the and one to go, and we are just blowing out the Celtics. One thing I really like about this team more than last year's team is even though, you know, Carmelo Anthony isn't known as a good defender, and, you know, Shabazz Muhammad's getting more minutes than Amon Shumpert now, pretty much, even though Muhammad's the worst defender. Our team defense seems to be doing better. I'm holding opponents under uh, 100 points. I have uh, three games recorded and ended the down, ready to go out. They're coming out today, tomorrow, and Saturday, actually. Maybe I'll pull one out Sunday instead. I'm not really too sure yet, but... Anyway, this game was originally going to go up yesterday on Wednesday, but uh, I just didn't have time to do the commentary, so... Anyway, look at Melo, though. Hitting the three. He was just going off. Very good, uh, not debut for him, because this wasn't the first game of the year, but this was the first game that I played with him, so, anyway, uh, but yeah, in, in all those three games, I'm holding opponents under 100 points, and it's just very good uh, to see that our defense has improved, as well as our offense, this this offense is stacked, they can, we can put up 110, 120 points a game easily on 10 minute quarters, that's pretty impressive, you can see Sharpert's doing a good down, good job locking down Rondo, but Rondo's going to find Jonas Repko, who, as we know from the last two years of the association, can hit that jump shot, you can see 7-9 from the field, we had a good game, but we're pretty much, uh, we're in control right now. The Celtics are kind of making a run. Rondo's going to get by Muhammad a lot of the time on the uh, defensive end or whatever. So, you know, it, Muhammad still has like, way to, ways to go on defense, but he's certainly improved. And Dwight Howard, of course, using his athleticism, getting the dunk right there, the two-handed slam, and this game is all but over. 105-94, Bradley, though, on the break. He's going to end up pulling up and hitting the two. Very nice shot by Avery Bradley. I wonder if he's developed that a little bit or if that's just kind of on the ratings in these rosters. But Jonas Urepko thinks he can cover Carmelo Anthony. No, you can't. Come on. It's Carmelo Anthony. Melo puts it in. And that's going to wrap up this game. We end up winning 110-98. to So I believe that the team as a whole is immensely better than it was last year. I'm winning games. I feel more confident with this team. And uh, it's just, you know, it's very good to see. So anyway, I believe the next game, actually, I don't know who the next game is against. I can't remember, but I haven't edited it down. It's going to come out tomorrow. And, um, you know, I really like this team, man. You know, we have great guys who do a lot of things. You know, Knight's a good pass for, he's not really a pass for point guard, but he's kind of become one throughout this um, association. You know, Mellow's our scorer. Shumpert's our defender. Uh, Muhammad can also be a scorer. Dwight can do a little bit of everything, quite frankly. He's a great scorer, great defender. Um, you know, great guys off the bench. We have our rebounders and Robinson and Sullinger and Drummond. Drummond's a great defender. Uh, you know, we just we have a lot of really solid all-around pieces. You know, Marion, he's a good defender. McGetty can shoot the ball. 
Uh, Kraft can pass and play defense. If you just have a good, you know, well-rounded team. That's what I really like about this year's team. I think we build this into a title contender for the next few years, quite frankly. So anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. So I'm out. Peace.